It's almost on the vagabond. Just over there. As you all know, last week I injured my neck in the deep blue of the Atlantic Ocean. Very dangerous, you should never leave port without a spinal surgeon on board. <laughs> Elena took charge and kept the boat running until I gained some strength back. It's green tea with lemon. I don't know where I'm... Come on Alfred. After a few days I started to feel a little better and I got back into fishing. Oh, I can't be that unlucky. Broken neck, I no fish. <laughs> what are you up to? I get some water. I'm running low. And I would love to wash my hair today. It's about time. <laughs> Seriously. You should, if you lean into your left there and put place the screwdriver like I told you, you should be fine. Riley's teaching me how to jump start the engine. <laughs> and I'm really scared. Sorry, if I put the screwdriver here. Yeah, but do, do it with purpose, you know, like don't. We, we want to get it right the first time. I'm just. I just don't know what I'm pushing down here. dramas with this what to see. I was like really excited to get it. I probably had these on the wrong pitch initially for producing energy and then overnight it just sort of stopped. It's just not freewheeling and it doesn't say anything in there about why that may, may be the case. Also when it's like that there's a pin that goes in there which fell out which then chewed up this cord so it was sort of just dangling there for I guess the last part of the night which is that's one issue and then the other is when I when I fixed that up and got that pin back in it just wasn't spinning at all so I'm going to replace this with the other one but I don't think that's going to be the drama it's a bit annoying yeah Uh, it looks very, very similar. I'm just trying to figure out exactly when to jive. It's blowing probably 20 knots from behind us at the moment, and it's extremely comfortable. We're doing between eight and 10 without even trying. Um, so I mean, when the squalls come, we don't even really do anything. We might head downwind a little bit, and that's a good way to be for us, particularly with me in my current situation, Elena. So um, we're going to just stick in this 20 knot zone and just try and stay in a similar wind pattern that we've got now. There's no boats around. No. No fish. No birds. No life at all. It's think, me and you, buddy. I think, <laughs> I think we're going too fast for the poor little fish. No. They can't keep up. We've got to slow down for sunrise and sunset, I reckon, and we might catch something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's hard to slow down though, isn't it? Yeah. It's really hard. <laughs> Just likes to go. Well, the food hole is pretty much useless right now. We're going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> What's for dinner? 
Uh, gnocchi. Potatoes. Big bowl of potatoes. So it is my first attempt at gnocchi. I've never made gnocchi before and I obviously bought a packet in Spain and the directions was all in Spanish so I've just completely made up the recipe. And uh, yes, about to present it to the boss and see what he thinks. <laughs> And Riley likes eating out of the pan. Since when do you call me the boss? <laughs> what do you reckon? It's good. Yeah? Pretty nice. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a proper method to cooking gnocchi, and I don't think that's it. All I think right. you got to like boil it in a pot or something. Oh, well, this is fantastic. Oh, grass. Mopping up after a squall. Water came in everywhere. We're all left open. And, and window. A, a wave came over the top there. Oh, was it a wave, was it? Yeah. Oh. We're um, going to go and take a read. Two reads. Two reads. Because it is windy, my friends. Just had probably my third squall of the night, so I'll just shorten the head sail and I'm just keeping an eye out for them on radar here. It's been very, very annoying. It's 6am and it's actually halfway day today, um, which is exciting, so it's a day to celebrate, but I've woken up to 30 knots of wind rain um, just you know doesn't really look that pretty outside um, but Riley and I took two reefs in the main sail last night so we were quite comfortable last night we we're still surfing so so fast we were surfing at like you know 19 knots every now and then so um, yeah we're very impressed with how the vagabond has behaved this whole trip she just loves it still asleep and I might make breakfast and we have one bottle of red that we're going to share today to celebrate um, so I'm really excited I've been staring at it this whole time it's the closest rainbow I've ever seen <laughs> it's almost on the vagabond just over there I'm ready to go <laughs> I don't reckon we'll have to do anything. Got to 22 knots, but... Oh dear, what's happened now? We've lost a uh, one of the blades of the propeller on the Watton Sea. Heard a strange vibration this morning. Riley just went outside and dun dun dun. This yeah. isn't good. leaves off perfectly and then I just fail <laughs> at mine. Look, look at the difference. It was a beautiful pop. Happy halfway day darling. No one should be eating this good a thousand miles from anywhere. This is amazing Elena, well done. I'm gonna overfill my wrap. And your stomach? Because I've never learned. <laughs> You did it a lot, didn't you? You walk on in, don't say a word Get on mesmerized You flick your head and look away I so good I stare you down, you smile at me It gives me shivers to the bone Yeah, yeah Day. We've Riley's had a beer, I've had a glass of red. Um, but obviously 
playing it very safe because we're gonna we're gonna have to take a read pretty soon and it's never good mixing alcohol with sailing. So we've been very responsible on halfway day today. We'll be pleased to know. Well, What's the latest? It's been a few days since the accident. So fill us all in. I feel good. I've been doing like no extra manual lifting i've been like using levers and all that sort of stuff so i've been doing stuff because i feel okay but like i'm obviously not flipping around and jumping and doing backflips i just i'm if i feel like i could be doing this i'm sort of doing this much um so, so when i when i do this i can feel something going on in in the back there and I've obviously hit the top of my head quite hard because it was enough to damage the nerve which goes to my arm. But you didn't uh, alert anyone, you didn't tell anyone? No, I haven't told mum or dad because I don't know what the situation is and last time, like, it was a, it was a bit of a nightmare for them. So, obviously they love me sailing and all that sort of stuff but with an Atlantic crossing they're used to it now, but I mean, throwing that previous emotional baggage into this situation just would have been no good for them, so. Why didn't we turn around and go back? Initially it was really bad, and then it wasn't so bad at all. It would have been more uncomfortable to turn around and go back and more banging and whatnot than to just go this way. I am aware that time is of the essence if the bone is out of place and being healed but this has been the best crossing that we've ever done apart from that yeah. <laughs> massive thing hanging over my head like the boat has just been gobbling up these miles and it's super comfortable and everything's been great but yeah certainly today i've been a bit annoyed about the whole situation yeah last time i did this i spent i don't know if i said before but i spent six months recovering so it's not something that i would be looking forward to again let alone spinal surgery. I mean, who knows what the f is going to happen there. Yeah. Spotted a ship. It's 22 nautical miles away. It doesn't have a name, but you can see that it's going 20 knots boat speed. So How fast are we going? We're going, I can't tell right now. Probably like 15 or something. But we can't see the other ship. Um, but it's really exciting because it's the first other vessel we've seen this entire time and today I saw a bird um, which is also exciting so there is life around La Vagabond. I had a dream last night that someone cut my hair and I don't know why but it was a really good feeling and I feel like I should cut my hair. I've never had short hair before we're on this crossing, which is in a way like a reset. I feel like I need to chop the locks. What am I doing? All right, so I want it to be shoulder length. So I want you to grab this and put it at my shoulders and then cut underneath the ruler. This is gonna happen pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. But don't rush, you know? No, I'm not gonna rush. Hang on, is that, can the ruler? So I want it. Yeah, if you hold the ruler and then I can just cut. That's like, that's pretty high. Is it? Yeah, like your shoulders are down here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, my hands must have slipped. Shit. Alright, hold on. Alright, so my shoulders are... You're in charge of where I cut. My shoulders are there, yeah? Yeah, but hold it up. Hold it like that, so I'll go to the bottom bit. Alright. That looks right to me. Alright, do it! Roach, I don't mind. Holy crap! Oh my god, why am I doing this? Is it still even? Straight at the back here. Done. Oh my god! My hair! It's gone! All the crap! Oh my god, it's so short. That is short, hey. Fire. There you go. Should we make a sacrifice to the sea gods in hope to catch a fish? Oh my god, I need to go look at this. Alright, come on. Oh, shit! Alright, alright, alright! <laughs> Is it still on? Yeah? Yeah, it's a little rainbow runner. 
high now, that's it. I hope he's size. It's it's perfect for a liner and I beautiful yeah. fillets. Yeah. I cannot believe that that just happened. Like my offering to the gods with my hair and we get a bite at that exact moment. Yeah, like, that's pretty crazy. Even Riley will admit that's you pretty had a, crazy. You had a dream to cut your hair and then you threw it away as an offering to the gods. And like, got, that's ridiculous. That's... We haven't caught a fish in like three months. We haven't even had a bite and we just got a we fish. We haven't caught a fish since that um, spearfish yeah. in the Messina Strait. Yeah. So, this is a quite a special day. By the way, Riley, my hair is so uneven. Like, I just looked in the mirror, <laughs> it is so uneven. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Both propellers on the Watt and Sea are broken, so we're desperately trying to save power. I cannot stand running the uh, engine just for power. So we switched one of the fridges off. Yeah, I can't believe how much power we're saving. So I just, um, I moved everything from this fridge to the other fridge. So we just got the one fridge now. And it's perfect because we've pretty much eaten through most of our food. Um, we could still live for another month, I reckon. We've got so much food. But just like, on pasta and rice. Fresh, fresh stuff's kind of, yeah, on the, on the low side. We can't use the Watt and See anymore which is a bit disappointing because it's pretty awesome. It puts in like so much power, but I think that because our speed is so inconsistent, like say we'll be doing 10, 12 knots all day and then all of a sudden we'll surf to 18 knots very, very, very easily, which is comfortable and very safe and the boat just handles it very well. That's not the issue. It's just that the pitch of the um, fins on the propellers. They're set to certain speeds. That's right, yeah. so we weren't quite getting enough, so I ramped it up a bit, and obviously I went too far with this one. This one here came standard. So yeah, I, I guess on a mono hull with a more consistent speed, it would be easier to pitch. get the correct pitch. Mm. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go have a look for a couple of spare fins now, but I don't, I'll be surprised if we've got them on board. I don't remember seeing it. That's where we're at at the moment, but we've just turned the fridge off and done all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we we'll do. Solar, solar will maybe get us by for a little while. Definitely. It's just we really try hard to, to use as little fossil fuel and to run those engines as little as possible. So when this came up and she was all snapped, I was like, Riley, you should have just left it yeah. back a bit. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week as we continue on west and spot land on the horizon. Just when I said there was no sea line. Huge.